So in this video, we're going to find the cumulative distribution function of the Weibull distribution. Now, the Weibull distribution has got this PDF here, which has got three controlling variables. We've got out x, which is our random variable, which is 0 to infinity. And then we've got alpha, which is our shape parameter, and beta, which is the scale parameter. And all of these numbers go from 0 to infinity. And the PDF is given by this function here, alpha divided by beta to the alpha, and then x to the alpha minus 1, and then e to the minus x over beta to the power of alpha. And it looks a lot like a gamma function kind of equation there. So that's our Weibull distribution. Now, to find this CDF, so the CDF, cumulative distribution function, that is basically the integral of the PDF. That's what we're trying to do. So basically the CDF in terms of algebra, we can write that as f of x, so capital F, equals the integral of f of x dx. So x is our variable that we, uh, that's our random variable. So we're going to integrate with regards to x. So therefore we're going to need to integrate this PDF here. OK, so let's take this off the board and let's do the integration. OK, so let's set up our integral. So f of x, so that's our CDF, and then that basically equals the integral from negative infinity to infinity of our PDF here. So we've got alpha divided by beta to the alpha, x to the alpha minus 1, then the exponential function raised to the negative x over beta raised to the alpha and then that will be dx. Okay now first of all the support is from 0 to infinity so this integral here so let's just write this here f of x equals negative infinity to zero, and I'll just write here our f of x dx. This will just be zero because there's no random variables in that range. So from that parameter there, so therefore we can now write this integral from zero to infinity. So let's rewrite that. So zero to infinity, alpha, beta to the alpha, x to the alpha minus one, e to the minus x to the alpha over beta to the alpha. So I'm going to write it in that form now, so it's easier to deal with. So there's my dx. OK, now I could bring this all out, but I'm going to do a substitution in a moment. So instead of doing this, this uh, integral in terms of x, I'm going to include another parameter now. And it's just going to be a parameter to help me integrate. So I'm going to change my x to my t. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to integrate from 0 to x. That way then I'll get my x out of it. And then I'll have alpha over beta to the alpha. And then I'll write t alpha to the minus 1. As I'm going to integrate now with regards to t. Then I've got e to the negative t to the alpha beta to the alpha, and then dt. So I'm going to try and integrate in that kind of format. That way then I'm going to get my x out of it, and it's going to be slightly easier to integrate. OK, so how am I going to integrate this? I mean, this is just crazy looking stuff. So I'm going to definitely need some sort of substitution. So I think I'm going to deal with this exponential term first and then hopefully some good things will come out of it and maybe some cancellations will come out with using this. So I'm going to let my u, so another variable, equal what's in this exponential without the minus sign. So let u equal t to the alpha over beta to the alpha. And with all good substitutions, first thing you do is take the derivative of this so when we plug in our dt, we know we've got something to plug in in its place. So now du equals, well, beta to the alpha, taking the derivative of that in regards to t, that just stays as a constant. So that will just stay 
in the bottom there. And now all I need to do now is integrate this T to the alpha with regards to T. Well, using the chain rule, the power comes out to the front, the variable goes back in and then reduce this power by one. So that's T to the alpha minus one. And then that will be DT. Okay, so now let's just get DT on its own. So now DT equals, so DU, and then all I need to do now is take the reciprocal of this and bring it onto this side. So I'll have beta to the alpha, so that will now be on the top, and this will now be on the bottom. So alpha T to the alpha minus one, and then that's my DU is in there. So we're now ready to plug in all this and change this integral in terms of U. Now, one thing I need to do here, just need to be careful with my X. Now, as I'm plugging in my U equals T to the alpha, B to the alpha, I need to plug in something in here with my substitution, otherwise it's not gonna work. Okay, so now I've got zero. Now my X, I've changed my X for my T. So now I'm gonna plug in this. So now I've got t to the alpha over beta to the alpha. So that takes care of my parameters. I'm gonna keep writing these terms in here because I'm hoping there's gonna be some constellations. Same with my t, I'm gonna write that in there because this is looking good here for a cancellation. t to the alpha, oh, let's write that different. That's a power. t to the alpha minus one, then e to the negative, now this one here, t to the alpha, b to the alpha, that is my u. So I'm just going to write that e to the negative u. And then my dt is all of this stuff. So I've now got beta to the alpha divided by alpha t to the alpha minus 1. And then du. So that wraps everything there now in terms of u. So all I need to do now is get rid of my t's because they're not invited into this t integral. So beta to the alpha, oh that's come good, that's gonna cancel out. t to the alpha minus one, t to the alpha minus one, as this is in the denominator, that's gonna cancel out. And my alpha here, and this alpha here, is also gonna cancel out. So all of that U substitution has come really good. So I'm just left now with this term and my DU and my parameters. So that we know we can integrate. So zero T to the alpha over beta to the alpha, E to the negative U, DU. Okay, well, we let's integrate this straight off now. So now that will equal, so, e to the minus u, that just becomes minus e to the minus u. Minus e to the minus u. And then calculate that over my parameters, zero to t to the alpha over beta to the alpha. Okay, so now, first of all, let's calculate it with this parameter here. So I've got negative e minus, and then I plug in this value here. So I've got t to the alpha, beta to the alpha. So that takes care of that one there. And now what to do now, subtract a value when u is zero. So if I put this in a bracket, keep it nice and separated, and then do another one, I've got minus e to the minus, or u is just zero, so it's e to the minus zero. Okay. Right, well, some simplification here is going to be needed. So minus e to the minus zero. Well, e to the minus zero is just e to the zero, which is just one. So this all brackets here is just minus one. So minus minus one gives me positive one. So if that's just positive one, I can bring this out the front and I've got my minus sign here. So now I've got one minus e to the minus, and now I can write this to, in terms of the original way, which is x over beta, which is just to the power of alta, alpha. So now I've got <coughs> t to the alpha over beta to the alpha. So now bring this back in terms of my x variable. So now I've got x over beta 
to the power of alpha. And that there will then become my cumulative density function for my Weibull distribution. So that's our CDF as requested from our integral. Okay.